Hi, this is Lisa with Holland Designs Crochet. I've been asked to do a demonstration of the twist and the reverse twist stitches which are used in the August afghan. This was a pattern from the 2021 afghan club. So it's been out for a couple years and I've had a lot of people make this blanket and enjoy the results and really love the blanket. But it's always good to have a little video demonstration for those who need the visual to understand the stitches a little bit more clearly. So I'll just go ahead and demonstrate the twist and the reverse twist for you today. So I've already worked row one of the pattern and that was sets of two single crochets, four double crochets, two single crochets, and four double crochets across the entire row. I've done a small swatch here and it ends with two single crochets. So that's a completion of row one, just some basic single crochet and double crochet stitches. And then as I begin row two, I do a chain one and turn my work. So this is the row two is this the row where the twist is happening. And so this row begins simply with a single crochet in the first two single crochets. And then the twist is worked over the next four double crochets. And so the pattern defines a twist on page two of the pattern. It tells you to skip the first two double crochets and they are working a back post double crochet around the third and the fourth double crochets. So back post double crochet is from the back of your work to the front of your work and to the back around that post and you're working just as a regular double crochet. And then the same thing around the second one, back post double crochet around the second post. So we've completed the first half of the twist and now to complete the rest of the twist, we are working two front post double crochets around these skipped stitches here, the first one and the second one. So we are gonna work a front post double crochet, so the front of our work to the back of our work and again to the front around that post and repeat around the second double crochet post, a front post double crochet. So once we've completed those four post stitches, we've completed our twist. And then we can just go ahead and work into the next two single crochets and continue then with the twist around the next four double crochets again. So we just repeat that across the entire row. So two back post double crochets followed by two front post double crochets. So our stitch count will remain the same on this row. There's no increasing or decreasing happening. Just a little bit of a twist in the stitches. Okay, and I'll just finish this row. Do that one more time. So back post around the third and fourth double crochet of that four double crochet group and then finish up with the front post double crochet around the first two double crochets. And then the row will just end with the last two single crochets. Okay, so I'll just lay that flat there for you. So that's the completion of row two and I've done three twists. So I will go ahead and work row three and then come back and show you row four where we have the reverse twist. All right, I've completed row three, which was a repetition of row one. Basically it is single crochet to start, then four double crochet groups, two single crochets between each of those across, very much like row one. And I've just also started row four which was two single crochets to begin. And now I'm gonna work the reverse twist over the next four double crochets. So let me demonstrate how that has worked. So we're again gonna skip the first two double crochets. We're working a front post double crochet around the third and the fourth double crochet. So we've got half the twist finished there. We've worked around the, the second half, the second two 
posts. We still want to come back and pick up these first two posts, but it's awkward for us to pick them up from where we are currently. So the pattern tells you to turn your work so you can see the back of it. And it makes it a lot easier to then just pick up those posts. So we're going to work again, front post, double crochet around this first post, and then a front post, double crochet around the second post to complete that reverse twist. And then we simply turn back to the front of our work and then continue on with the single crochets in between here, the two single crochets. So I'll just demonstrate that one more time. Reverse twist, skip the first two double crochets, front post double crochet around the third and the fourth double crochets, turn your work to the back, and then front post double crochet around the first and the second post there at the back. Again, turn your work to the front, single crochet in the next two, skip two double crochets, front post around the next two double crochets, turn your work to the back, and then again front post around the two double crochet there at the back. And again, turn to the front and then finish up the row with the last two single crochets. So again, on this row, the stitch count has remained the same. You can see how the reverse twist has created an interesting texture. So a little bit different from the original twist on row two. The reverse twist has made an opposite angle to that twist. You see how that's created basically what looks like a horseshoe cable in knitting. I think it's called a horseshoe cable. Um, so this blanket's quite pretty, has a lot of different textures, some ribbing, and of course the little cabling, and there's quite a few repetitions of the textures, so it's a little bit like a sampler type pattern, a lot of fun stitches to learn, and you can also decide whether you want your textures to run horizontally or vertically, so that's up to you. I think the sample had them all going horizontal, and, um... There's just a bunch of repetitions of the textures, so you can make it to any dimensions. You can make the blanket to any length, width, and customize it. Uh, I love to design blankets that you can customize the sizing on. So that's the, the I guess, the right side after I've completed row rows one through four. And then I'll just show you what the back of it looks like. So the back of it's also very much a very similar textured sort of a horseshoe cable effect. So it's a very similar look on both sides. So hopefully that's helpful to you.